What's up? I'm Lindsay from Snail Mail. Should I do it again? I felt like that almost was like an incomplete sentence. Go ahead. I'm Lindsay from Snail Mail and... What's up? I'm Lindsay Jordan from Snail Mail. It's funny, I, I think when we were coming up, we were we started out in like DIY, DC, Baltimore world and all the bands had names that were like catchy and rhymed and stuff. I just thought we were gonna do house shows or like that was the goal, just to hang out with my friends and, and play house shows with everyone because that's just where we were hanging out anyways. And it just, it kind of just, I was like, that rhymes, it's catchy. I came up with it in like 20 minutes. Alex, the bassist and I had our own like little project on Bandcamp called Snail Mail, M-A-L-E. And we were like, that's just not straightforward enough. Let's just make it snail mail. And, and then, yeah, I wasn't thinking this was going to be the project that would... We weren't pursuing a career. <laughs> so now I'm just stuck with snail mail. But I, I don't mind. I think it's kind of cute. It's just funny to me when people call me snail mail as a person. Because I'm just like, that's not, you know. Snail mail, nice to meet you. Hi, Miss Snail. Everybody's like, Miss Snail. I'm like, that makes me sound gross and slimy. Oh, oh, I mean, a lot has changed. I feel like a, a lot of doing this job for me has just been soul searching and trying to figure out what's next because I don't necessarily feel like I need to become more popular or anything. Like, I'm not like, let's expand it. I've got, like, lately have been like, have these goals to make a record like this, and I want to be a songwriter like this, and I want to be a lyricist like this. And so just like getting to that point, like, practicing and like learning about other people's music and stuff, and, and working on being like a tight band that's kind of at the forefront of my mind whereas when I first started it was of course like let's get to the top like as soon as we started it was like exciting and fiery and stuff and I was like cool yeah let's just keep like going until we're dead and now I'm kind of I don't know I, I was 15 and now I'm 24 which is crazy and I'm just uh my goals have just I just have goals now I don't know if I had goals before I was like cool I'm just gonna be a rock star I like write songs and now I'm like I would love to be like a great songwriter and I feel like watching other people like become like like try to rise in the ranks has just made me feel like it's really embarrassing. <laughs> I'm just like yes yeah, Mail could fail that would be okay as long as the next record is cool. It's got to be good I gotta like it or because you know I think like the pursuit of fame is very stupid. I feel like like watching other people's careers and like having friends with careers and all different trajectories. There's so many different ways you can do it. Um, longevity is the thing to me that is the coolest. Like if I'm still making good records at like 30, I'm going to be happy and it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter what happens. I just like, I just want to have longevity rather than like, you know, cause that is just what happens, you know? And I think it, not if the music's good though. Oh, I mean, I write my songs, I guess for myself. I mean, the last record I was processing some really gnarly stuff that happened in my life that I barely even unpacked. You know, you can listen to the lyrics and probably figure some good, a good amount of stuff out. <laughs> but that was like truly a therapeutic thing. I was trying to work through a lot of really crazy stuff and making sense of it for myself. I was making so many songs at that time that I think like none of them could have come out. All of them could have come out. It was kind of like this burst of energy where I was literally writing like horribly sad things in my journal and then I was just like be cool to put music to that it would feel good to sing it and I was just doing that in my parents house like I feel like when I sit down to write a song I'm trying to like get in touch with myself and like that feeling of making something and like getting to something new and I don't know I have definitely written songs like for girls like said this is for you I'm sure I'm not completely done with that it's just a lot of like the bulk of it has been just me trying to like figure out what's going on in my brain and untangle it and then I feel like like writing in your journal but adding music to it is even more cathartic because it's like you're, you, you're trying to make the music match the feelings and that's just like you're really sitting there with yourself while you're doing that. I think that's the best part of songwriting. It's like when you feel like you're matching music with the lyrical content and you're like putting two things together that are really abstract. I always have felt like that helps me work through a lot of stuff. but. For the fans too, I don't know. <laughs> it's also cool, it's cool to like, I feel like I can get really wordy when I'm writing lyrics and sometimes that can work, like automate is extremely wordy because there's space for it in the song, but even just turning like six phrases down into one to make it match like your little part, it's just, that is cool. It feels like you're just like 
getting down to the very best, whatever. The editing process itself is cathartic. Everything about it's cathartic. And yeah, I don't know. I love songwriting. I feel like that's the best part. So, yeah. <laughs>